Hi, welcome to part 2 of creating the wind shader in Unity. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, I recommend starting with it here. In this part, we'll test the shader on other objects and add some extra features to it. In the previous part, I only applied the shader to this grass. Now I want to apply it to the water surface hair and cloth. Hair and cloth have some complexities. First let's add a normal map and roughness. I need to add a texture to the property. Next, connect it to the sample texture to the node. And add another one for roughness. Also, I need a float to control the intensity of the roughness. I need to multiply the roughness texture by the roughness intensity. Finally connect it to the smoothness. Let's create a material for the water. Let's assign this simple texture. I didn't want to create a professional water. I explained how to create a water simulation in the tutorial here. This empty normal map is useful when the object doesn't have a normal map, as I need to assign something to the normal input. I have a problem, I forgot to change the normal texture type to normal. Alright, now I need to adjust the roughness, but I don't have a roughness map. Ok, let's adjust the wind direction values. Ok, good. It's simple, but we can improve the shader and also increase the surface subdivisions. Ok, now it's time to apply the shader to the hair. I've added this hair texture to the project. But I need to add a feature. Hair has an alpha channel and in the shader, alpha transparency is controlled through the alpha output of the diffuse texture. I need to add a separate texture for the alpha. First assign whatever is necessary, then we need to enable alpha clipping.
Right, as you can see, the alpha is taken from the alpha channel, but I need to change it to the RGB channel of a custom alpha. I need the texture to the property. Alright, let's assign the alpha, which in this case is my diffuse texture. Then I need a float property to control the alpha. I need a multiply node. Lower values in the alpha intensity mean more transparency. Next, we need to adjust the wind. As you can see, the exclusion area we created in the previous part doesn't work on the hair because hair has several planes. For cloth there's more complexity, it's not a simple plane, so calculating the exclusion area isn't straightforward. In this shader we have a simple calculation, but it's not enough for these objects. We need to paint the vertex colors manually in a software like Blender, which is the simplest choice. Let's import these models into Blender. With the model selected, go to the vertex paint mode. Then go to the data section. Next create the vertex group by pressing the plus button. Now I can paint. The white color means those areas are not excluded. By pressing the X key I can invert the color. Here includes a lot of planes, and I can't paint on the end of each plane. With this section, I can apply the vertex color based on a specific method. For example, this method is random, or we can choose a factor, which is the best choice for us. As you can see, the start point of each hair plane has been excluded. Let's work on the cloud now. Right click, increase the brush size and make the entire surface black. Now I need to make some areas white. Wind will be applied to those areas. Alright, finally I can apply some blur. Let's export now.
Select the model, go to File, then Export, and choose the FBX. Enable the Selected Objects option, then turn off the animation. Let's add the model to the scene. Here I need to apply some modifications to the shader. I need to add a vertex color node. It will access the colors that we applied in Blender. Let's add a multiplier to control the intensity of the vertex color. Now instead of the previous calculations, it will use the manual color for the exclusion array. If we adjust the exclusion value, we'll see that the wind will apply to some of the white areas. As you can see, this area doesn't have the wind effect on it. Let's create the material for the other object. There are some issues, I need to adjust the exclusion value precisely. Alright, it's relatively good. You can download this shader from store.blackave.com. If you know of any other methods, don't forget to share them in the comments. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.